welcome back to my channel. New project today is uh, with the golden. I'm going to make a snowplow for the goldens. Uh, the idea for uh, snowplow on the Boland is not to clear the driveway itself because I already have the case to do it and it does it perfectly well. But it's wide, it's heavy, it's uh, driving with the clutch and it's not maneuverable as this one. This one is going to be able to go around uh, the house, the doorway, the uh, sidewalk, and the patio, patio behind the house. And that's the part I have to do by hand because the big uh, case doesn't go there. So I'll be able to use this one. Hopefully I get enough traction, but I might use uh, some ballast at the back of the tractor to give uh, it some more traction. Basically I'm going to put a cloak at the front of the tractor. I'm going to use the uh, mechanism that rise a little were the uh, Moro deck, that's one hydraulic uh, valve and the auxiliary hydraulic valve would be used to tilt the blade. I'm really lucky because my father-in-law had a plow already, he gave me that plow, i show you that later, that, that plow. It's a little bit narrow, I'm going to increase the width, I'm going to increase it from 43 inches up to 60 inches, which I feel this is maximum I could use. Why 60? Is to be able to angle it and still have the 48 inches track that the balance have. So stick around. I think this will be a great project. Then this is the blow. It's not too heavy. There's some kind of attachment that will not maybe use on that project. I will cut at the top and bottom to make a new attachment to have some kind of like this some uh, spring to give away but always uh, also have some uh, angling system I uh, just reuse those parts maybe put some reinforcing there and it should be quite easy
Okay, I got the uh, thin metal being bent to mostly uh, the same curvature than the uh, flow. It's five and a half increase on each side, 43 plus 11, 54. I finally decided that 54 would be really, really much enough because having 60 inches it's kind of a burden on the uh, bowline and especially when angled uh, with the uh, flow being set in angle it will just move the uh, front of the uh, bowline away so I have to balance in between having the right track and yet the capability of the uh, bowline so I also have the prolongation of the uh, angle iron on each end, top and bottom. So I'm going to weld this fully in place before I start doing any work with the uh, reinforcing at the bottom of uh, the base.
put some reinforcing in the back that will also serve to make the pivot point and attach the uh, angle cylinder. Uh, it's going to be a close, a close popple uh, to make sure I show you that. So as you can see, there's some flex and I don't like that much. To avoid that flex, then I have to have a closed Popeye like this. So that's a closed Popeye. That's an open Popeye. So if you have an open Popeye like that, you don't have any uh, resistance to uh, flex. I'm going to clean this because I have a lot of grass on it will not be able to uh, weld on it unless it is being cleaned.